we say, what will it take? We already had three grand juries coming out of Philadelphia, 2003, 2005, 2011. We have the uh, Tuna Johnson report. We have Bill Cosby. We have Sandusky. We have the Boy Scouts. Pennsylvania has been the epicenter of child sex abuse. And if we would have acted as the legislature in 2003 and enacted the recommendations that the grand jury recommended then, we probably would have saved children. The boy that was raped in Scarnati's backyard in Jefferson County in that cabin, who's eight, who was eight years old, that predator would have been identified and that child wouldn't have been raped. What are we doing? What are we doing as a legislator allowing this to happen? And, and we continue to sit back and say, no, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. And, and in the meantime, these kids continue to get abused. That's why the retroactive component is so important because we can identify these predators and expose them. These, these predators are not on Megan's list. They're out there. They're your neighbors. They're living next to playground, um, next to schools. So when you ask me what the impact is going to be, I pray to God that we're able to get this legislation done now. Because I, I say that I know that this grand jury report will probably be the worst um, as it pertains to child sex abuse in the history of the United States. It will be the worst.